Regarding infrastructure, it may appear that the higher the expense, the greater the attention from stakeholders and the media. Well, five transportation projects are now in the works in and around Toronto, Ontario and Montreal, Quebec. Two nuclear rehabilitation projects are now ongoing in Ontario. A pair of hydropower producing projects in Quebec and British Columbia are planned, as is a major bridge project across the Detroit River in Windsor, Ontario. Can you guess the total cost of these 10 projects? Well, to know about that, let's dive straight into the content. Here Ontario LRT Project The Here Ontario Light Rail Transportation Project is part of Ontario's commitment to expanding transit in the Greater Toronto and Hamilton. The LRT will be fully integrated with local transportation networks and will operate along Here Ontario Street in Mississauga and Brampton. The LRT will have its dedicated lane along the region's main thoroughfare, assuring smooth, dependable, and convenient travel. The system will have 19 stops, pass through two urban development areas, and link to major transportation networks. The contract is worth $5.6 billion in total. This includes $4.6 billion for design, construction, and financing and $1 billion for operation and maintenance over a 30-year period. Mississauga intends to use the Here Ontario LRT to stimulate business development and job opportunities along the route. According to Ed Sage Heath, Mississauga's Commissioner of Planning and Building, downtown growth has been primarily residential buildings, since developers believed it was too costly to provide parking for huge office towers. The LRT, according to Sagey, will reduce the demand for downtown parking. In less than 20 years, the projected 40,000 residents of downtown are anticipated to have more than doubled, thanks to the LRT, Gordy Howe International Bridge. The Binational Detroit River International Crossing Study identified a new border transit infrastructure for the Windsor-Detroit Gateway in 2008. Its five components comprised an Ontario access route, now known as the RT, Pond. Herb Gray Parkway, a Canadian port of entry, a river crossing, now known as the Bordy Howe International Bridge. The bridge is 2.5 kilometers long in total. It has the longest main span of any cable stayed bridge in North America, with a clear span of 853 meters. The Gordy Howe International Bridge will cost $5.7 billion to build and operate, and it is set to open to traffic in the fall of 2024. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will offer an important international crossing between Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and Detroit, Michigan, USA. This once-in-a-lifetime project will provide major and much-needed transit enhancements for foreign tourists. The Windsor-Detroit Commerce Corridor is widely regarded as the major industrial border crossing between Canada and the United States, responsible for more than 25% of total surface traffic between the two nations. With better border procedures and highway-to-highway -highway international connection, the Gordy Howe International Bridge will offer redundancy in the important commerce corridor. It also addresses future demands by providing six lanes to handle expected traffic increase in the coming years. Rizzo Express Metropolitan The Rizzo Express Metropolitan REM, is a new electric light rail network that is entirely automated. It will have 26 stops and will span the Greater Montreal region with 67 kilometers of new tracks in both directions. The present metro system is 69.2 kilometers long. Services are available 20 hours a day, 7 days a week. This new light metro quick transit system has approximately 21.5 kilometers of elevated buildings, including 16.2 kilometers of segmented guideway at the St. Anne de Bellevue Airport and a portion of the Du Montagnes antennas. Rizzo Express Metropolitan The Rizzo Express Metropolitan REM, is a new electric light rail network that is entirely automated. It will have 26 stops and will span the greater Montreal region with 67 kilometers of new tracks in both directions. The present metro system is 69.2 kilometers long. Services are available 20 hours a day, 7 days a week. This new light metro quick transit system has approximately 21.5 kilometers of elevated buildings, including 16.2 kilometers of segmented guideway at the St. Anne de Bellevue Airport and a portion of the Du Montagnes antennas. The REM is expected to employ 3 to 4,000 people during development, making it one of the largest employers in the region, if only for a short time. The local economy will absorb its $6.5 billion costs almost entirely implying that it adds tremendous value to an already strong economic region. Despite being totally automated, the light rail line will provide an estimated 1,000 additional permanent employment to Montreal when completed. Site C Clean Energy Project 
one of the country's major infrastructural projects. It is part of an energy scheme with a hydroelectric capacity of 1,100 megawatt. The project comprises the building of an earth dam 1,050 meter long and 60 meter high, two diverting tunnels 10.80 meter in diameter and 700 to 800 meters in length, as well as a concrete foundation for the power production plant and spillways. The dam at the Side Sea Reservoir ensures a continuous source of fresh, renewable electricity for more than a century. In terms of gigawatt hours, its hydroelectric dam will have the least greenhouse gas emissions of any energy source. The $10.7 billion project will generate around 5,100 gigatons of energy each year, enough to power approximately 450,000 households. The project's construction began in the summer of 2015, and the generators are scheduled to be operational by 2024. Ontario Line Project The 15.6-kilometer Ontario Line will connect the Ontario Science Centre to Exhibition slash Ontario Place. More than half of the route will be tunneled below, with the balance running along elevated and at grade rail line sections of the track. There are 15 proposed stops, with several links to the Greater Transit Network, which includes GO Transit Rail Services, the Toronto Transit Commission's Subway Lines 1 and 2, the projected Line 5, and numerous bus and streetcar lines. The Ontario Line is one of four main transit projects for the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area proposed by the province in 2019. The cost is anticipated to be about $10.9 billion, with a completion date of 2027, which was then pushed to 2030 in December 2020. The financial case describes a proposal for a new subway line with regular, rapid service on trains that can achieve speeds of up to 80 km per hour. During rush hour, automated railway technology will assure that an emission-free, electric train arrives safely at each stop every 90 seconds. The Ontario Line, with 15 stations spread across approximately 16 kilometers, will bring the subway to additional areas, opening up the city for individuals who want to experience everything Toronto has to offer. Eglinton Crosstown LRT The Eglinton Crosstown Light Rail Transit is part of a 25-year transit system to serve the region with an integrated transportation and transit system. The LRT will deliver rapid, dependable, and pleasant transit along Eglinton Avenue, reducing congestion, providing dependable transit to Toronto residents, and integrating transit services. The project contains 19 kilometers of light rail transportation that runs both underground and above ground. There are 15 subway stations, 10 stops, and a vehicle repair and storage facility. With the groundbreaking ceremony in 2016, it became Canada's largest public transportation project under development. This light rail transportation line will operate between Mount Dennis and Kennedy Station on Toronto's Eglinton Avenue. Well, the project's estimated cost is nearly $12 billion. Muskrat Falls Project This advancement, led by Nauker Energy, includes the construction of an 824-megawatt hydroelectric generating facility at Muskrat Falls on the lower Churchill River in Labrador, including more than 1,600 kilometers of linked transmission lines and infrastructure that will bring electricity to Newfoundland and Labrador. The Muskrat Falls project was approved by the Newfoundland and Labrador government in December 2012, and building began in January 2013. Construction has begun on all main project construction locations, including Muskrat Falls, Soldiers Pond, Churchill Falls, the Strait of Belle Isle, and the transmission channels, as scheduled. Once finished, the project will enable long-term energy generation for domestic, commercial, and industrial expansion in Newfoundland and Labrador. The $12.7 billion project is scheduled to be completed this September. Darlington Nuclear Refurbishment The Darlington Nuclear Refurbishment Project is one of the biggest nuclear infrastructure projects in the world, and the prompt completion of the Unit 2 reactor highlights Ontario's status as a global leader in nuclear energy. It is a huge nuclear plant located on the north shore of Lake Ontario near Clarington, Ontario, that consists of four can-do nuclear reactors with a total output of 3,512 MWE when all units are operational. It supplies around 20% of Ontario's electrical demands, enough to power a metropolis of 2 million people. The 10-year renovation project is estimated to generate roughly $90 billion in economic benefits for Ontario and create 14,200 jobs each year. The project aims to extend the station's operational life and deliver clean, low-cost and dependable electricity for another 30 years.
The $12.8 billion renovation of four units at the Darlington Nuclear Generating Station east of Toronto is on pace and budget. With completion scheduled for 2026, Bruce Power Refurbishment Project. Bruce Power stated in December 2015 that it would renovate six of its eight nuclear reactors at its site in Kincardine, Ontario. The project, which was supposed to start in 2016, was delayed until 2020 due to the reactor's usable life. Six of the plant's eight candor reactors will be renovated during a 15-year period. The eight reactors generate 6,300 megawatt of power each year, accounting for around 30% of Ontario's current energy consumption. The Bruce Power Renovation Project will create up to 23,000 jobs and produce about $6.3 billion yearly financial benefits in communities across the province. Bruce Power is contributing around $13 billion of its own money to pay the renovation costs. Go Expansion The Go Expansion is the greatest transit project in Ontario's history and will alter transportation throughout the province. The project will electrify and modernize the Go train network into a system that will provide two-way, all-day service every 15 minutes or fewer over five main rail lines in the Greater Golden Horseshoe area. The Go rail network now consists of 400 kilometers of track, with an annual ridership of 57 million and 78,000 train journeys. When completed, the GO expansion program is expected to add over 200 kilometers of track, with yearly ridership exceeding 200 million by 2055. The $13.5 billion regional fast train project is anticipated to be completed by 2025. Well, that brings us to the question I asked at the start of this video. Can you guess the total cost of these 10 engineering projects? You guessed it right. $106 billion. Crazy, right? If you want to see more of this insane content, check out the other videos on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. That concludes today's video. I'll be seeing you in the next 